Oh, I wonder if that means that I'll have to go alone to the mines. I mean, technically, he was alone this whole time. And I was right. But then there's someone. Eddie? Elizabeth? Is that you? With this mannequin here, she should he should wake up one night and just Are you upstairs? Oh it's snowing outside? That was some strange sound. Ah. Betty, I'm coming. In the kitchen? I knew you were here. No, I think it's upstairs in that closed room. Okay. It's gonna be the bird. Or I don't know. Betty? Betty! Are you in there? Open the door! I'm coming in! Really? Stand away from the door! Ugh. Good luck. Mm, I knew it. Ready? No. No, I think no, no, it's no, no, Anna. No, no. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, you found another dead body. I thought it was you, Betty. But who? It's Anna! Fredland. She wrote in her diary that she's feeling ill. It's from Johan. Addressed to his wife. Hmm. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? It was clearly distraught. Knock, er, knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will... Tell ye, forgive me. I am tired of secrets. Mm -hmm. For 20 years I have kept my silence about our discovery, but my silence has only led to misfortune, and my cowardice has only led to death. Huh? I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us, for what they have done to our Ruth. Okay. When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. Hmm. And I was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm. And then? Hmm. And then what? They had a fist fight? this you said this was a gift from another unlucky suitor it was precious to you you wouldn't have left it here unless Ugh. a signpost a breadcrumb really you think so you, you don't think you followed Johann to Frederick Fretland's farm and then to the mine how do you know that they went Johan, what? What? You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end. Okay. All the way to the end. Okay. Okay, then let's, uh, let's what? Are we going to the farm first? No, we are going to the mine. 
So where is Frederick's farm? I know that the shop was um, the gate. Frederick's warning. The path leads to his farm. The farm is on the way to the mine, isn't that so, Betty? Are you still at the farm? Or did you go all the way to the mine? I need to see what you saw. Follow your story. The red thread you left for me. Did you follow the tracks to the mine? And this bird. What led you to this place? All these fragments. You would piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, what do we know? Uh-huh. Um. Johan and Frederick are partners. And on good terms. Something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johan walks this path to confront Frederick. And burn in his house, apparently. Is this your doing, Johan? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? Oh. Unlock, like, it's a save, but it's just... Um, yeah, I probably need to find something. What do you something. reckon, Betty? Oh, the date! The mine was open. Okay, let's try. No. Huh. I probably need more clues. Let's try again, but... Uh. There's only one option right now, so I don't think that that's it. Maybe not mine opening. I would say... Okay, come on! Just leave! What is happening? <laughs> Maybe rather... Date of the wedding? What's this? What's in here? Is there anything in here? No, closed. Okay. Um, here? Doesn't look. Oh, it's so dark in here. I wish I had a lighter or something. Um, here? No, I can't get inside. Simon, they wouldn't let him be buried at the cemetery. Simon's grave. Born December 5th, 1909. Died September 17th, 1923. He was 14? The safe. Frederick would choose numbers that meant something to him. You think that? Why bury Simon here and not at the cemetery? If the village blamed him for Ruth's death... They wouldn't allow him. I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no hmm. time. It's getting dark. Margaret. So basically, that means that Frederick was shunned by the whole community. If they wouldn't even allow him to bury his family at the cemetery. Okay, let's try those different dates. Okay, I still have only my opening as the option. But it's not it. Can I go back? Can I... Oh, there are different, okay. 
I bet it's marriage. No, Margaret's birthday, Simon's birthday. Let's try Margaret. It's not? Okay, let's try Simon's. Let's try Simon's birthday. Oh, okay. A bracelet. It's like one of those that Ruth had. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. Maybe that's why they closed the mine, because they were... They were <gasps> Postmarked in Boston. That's a, a curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter... It's in English, Betty. Hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. We're concerned about you both. Uh, no word from you for almost mm -hmm. two years now. Hmm. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. I mean, have you seen who signed it? Maybe it was Betty. Considering what's from Boston. Mr. Fretland. We expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We have already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. <gasps> okay. The Fretland Mining Company. I wonder what this unlocks. They discovered a Viking. You went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. They discovered a Viking dig site at the mine. And yo. All right, Betty. So what happens next in your story? Johan and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of yeah. archaeological value. They argue about what to do. If the discovery is made public, it's the end of their enterprise. Johan is convinced or paid to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out. The mine shuts down. Frederick's up to his neck in debt. <gasps> they bl oh my god, they blame it on the curse because they discovered this, this, um, this, this Viking cemetery there. So they are convinced that the Vikings are pissed because they disturbed their resting place and instead of leaving it alone they kept digging I think so do you think so Fretland mining company brothers is is uh, marked out Oh, good, I had this key, so I can now look through the window. <laughs> okay, this is a poison. Uh-huh. Cursed mine in Grovik. Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on... Mm -hmm. They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self-fulfilling. If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune yeah. feeds the delusion. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> Climb. Couldn't you walk around? So... Twenty years pass. The Frontland feud tears the village apart, setting neighbors. I think it neighbor. would be. 
And then, Ruth stumbles across the secret in the mine. After all this time, the truth may finally come to light, but she dies. And the day after, Simon is murdered. Huh. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand with, you're a traitor. Things escalate. More people die. From disease, despair, suicides, mm. murder. honest I'm a bit surprised because I would I would say that the other villagers should have turned against Fretland all because of the mine because of what they found there and what they covered up there was no one to stop it Betty they were alone that's the real curse of Grovik isolation so, like I was saying, I would expect more that the people, other villagers, would turn against the Fretlands because they opened the mining company, they uncovered the stuff, and they activated the curse. I'm surprised that they... I'm surprised that there are... Um, that there were two fronts. I just want to check this here. Is a, just a... Uh, more tracks. And we are at the lion's den. This place is cursed. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, you are the one to die! You are talking to ghosts and angels! Oh, the doll's head. The doll that we found. Ruth was here, the day she fell. Um. Ruth was here, but there was someone else and... She ran, all the way to the cliff where... She fell. Do you know what happened, Betty? Did you witness it? Huh. Maybe she saw the uncle, and she got scared. Hello? Betty, are you in there? Do you still have the slider? Please answer me. Yes, thank you. 